when you do this, you can also ask your sense. If it is coming through preconditioning, is it something you are deciding on your own or you are dictated by others? If it is dumb through preconditioning, is it you deciding it or it is dumbed by others? So, you are dictated by others. That is what is happening, right? So, this is not the right path. This is dictated by others. This we call as Patantrita. It is decided by the sensations from outside. Right? Is it decided by you or it is also dictated by others? Dictated by outside. Not visible, right? If this is the path, This is the right path. This is self-organized, self-governed, right? This is what we are calling as Patantrata. So this is Patantrata. Somebody else is deciding for you. This is also Patantrata. Somebody else is deciding for you. So dictated by others, dictated by outside. Right? This is the only one which is decided by you, you your own self, right? What do you think? Which one is the correct path? Self-verification through natural acceptance. Yeah, self-organized, right? That is what is called as Svatantrata. So I know what is my natural acceptance. And I have decided on my desire, thought, expectation on the basis of this natural acceptance. If that happens, this is Svatantrata. I am the master of my own. I am the one who is deciding for myself. And I am not dictated by others. So you have to find out how much is this, how much is this, how much is this. And that was the second you know, exercise which I had left three years. You know. Make a list of your desires. Divide them in three categories. Right? What are these three categories? Desires coming out of preconditioning. Coming out of sensations. And decided by natural acceptance. So that list of desires we have made, right? One assignment is to divide them in two categories. The desires related to the need of the eye, need of the body. The second is, list of your desires divided into three categories. Those coming from preconditioning, right? Those coming from sensation, and those coming from natural effort. This is Patantrata or Patantrata? Decided by you or decided by others? This is decided by you or decided by outside? This is decided by you. So you can think which one is better, right? This, this or this. And you can also find out what is the percentage of this. So if 
people think that, you know, particularly the youth today, they think that they like freedom. Okay. So they want to live with freedom. I was talking to one such youth, you know, my friend's son. Okay. And he was very arrogant. So my friend asked me, why don't you, you know, talk to him, you know, do something about it. So I was just talking to him. I said, you know, I like freedom. So he was very happy. He said, yes, I also like <laughs> so then I asked him, what do you mean by freedom? So he said, I do what I like. Then I asked him, how do you decide how, what you like? Right? Is it decided by you yourself? Is it decided by the adjutant? Is it decided by your peers? Right? All these options I gave him. So he was quite taken aback. I said, I will take an example. Let's say you go to the, you know, restaurant. And the waiter comes and asks you, what do you want? And you say, bring a coke. You want to drink a Coca Cola? How did you decide? So, I said, you must have heard this, you know, seen this incident three, four times. Right? So, next time when you go to the restaurant, and this waiter comes and asks you what to have drink, right? you ask for a cola, Coca Cola. You think you are doing what you like. What has decided your liking? <coughs> the advertisement <coughs> deciding your liking and you think you are doing what you like. Is it a freedom or is it a bondage? <laughs> then I said, the coat, clothes you are wearing, who decided for this clothes? You yourself or your peers? So the peers have decided. What could close the wear? <coughs> and you can see this, you know, small child, what Sange was mentioning. <coughs> Even that small child is now so much impacted by the peers that if the peers have the colorful band, right? She also also has to have a colorful bag, right? In regard of whether they, she really needs it or she does not need it. So I asked him, how did you decide for the clothes you are wearing? So it turned out to be another, you know, bondage, you know, slavery, not freedom. <laughs> so after you know some time, he said, you know, I will come for the workshop. In fact, I was trying to communicate to him that he should come for the workshop. <laughs> right? And my friend must have asked him a number of times. And he was very violent. He said, I don't want to listen to this. But when he talk, I talked to him about this freedom and this slavery, it turned out that most of the time this man would think that he is, you know, doing it out of his choice. Right? He is doing, he's doing it out of his slavery. The masters are somewhere else. They are deciding for him. And they are doing, these young people are doing it. In the name of freedom. What do you think? Let's look at the young people here. You decide it on the basis of your natural acceptance or it is done to you through preconditioning and preconception. <coughs> okay, do that exercise. It will be quite a revelation for you. You start looking into yourself, look into your desire, thought and expectation, right? then trying to find out whether they are coming from preconditioning or from sensation or from natural acceptance. Right? Lot of revelation for yourself. Eh? Yeah. 
That is why this party is spending so much for public, you know, publicity. Because they think that you have no decision of your own. <laughs> <laughs> they can influence you by publicity. Otherwise, why do they need to do publicity? <laughs> what is saying is that <coughs> you don't need any publicity to sell rice or wheat. Right? You only do publicity to sell things which are not needed. Right? <laughs> All this you will be able to, you know, investigate and see for yourself. But let me make this, you know, emphatically, you know, clear to you that you have to start working with yourself deeply, right? Unless you do this, there will be no benefit of this workshop. If you don't investigate into yourself, explore into yourself, see what is happening within, right? Then what will happen is that all these will become another set of assumptions for you. <laughs> right? And it might even create confusion in you more than what you have. So, try to look into yourself, do a very serious investigation, right? And if you are really doing it, it will start going on throughout the day, throughout the night. Because in the night, you need to give rest to the body. The self is active. So this self-verification can be done, right? In, even when you are sleeping, because you are not sleeping. You are allowing the body to sleep, right? To take rest. You are anyway busy seeing some <laughs> dreams and all that. <laughs> so, instead of dreams now, right, we have to do this investigation every moment. So if you do that, it work, this workshop will make sense to you. <coughs> it will be useful, meaningful for you. If you don't do this, okay, it will give you another set of assumptions to carry it, right? Just as a workload. <laughs> that is why the very first day I have said, don't assume it to be true. Verify it on your own right. Only when you do that, it will make sense. Otherwise, it will not make sense. So, look into it, investigate into yourself. Right? I think you will have a lot of questions to ask tomorrow. With that, I think, from my side, I will close for the day. And I hand over to Rajuri.